Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video today I'm painting a chocolate eclair for my patisserie series of cake paintings and they'll be going up for sale in the next day or two in my Etsy shop. I'm going to be offering them as individual prints and also as one print with all five cakes on it. So if anyone's interested I will be leaving a link to my Etsy shop in the description below. I just thought I'd mention quickly the supplies that I've been using for these paintings. The paint I'm using is a Winsor & Newton Artists watercolour set and I've used that for all of my watercolour paintings. The paper is from a Dela Rowney watercolour pad and it's called the Langton Prestige. It's 100% cotton cold press. It's a beautiful paper to use watercolours on and it's one of my favourites so far. I've used two brushes throughout these videos, a small brush which I use for the details and that is an Escoda Versatile which is a synthetic brush and it's in a size zero. I also used a medium brush that I'm using briefly at the beginning of this video and I also used it in the cream slice video too and that is a Rosemary & Co pocket travel brush, it's golden synthetic and it's in a size eight. I also used some coloured pencils on a few of the cakes. They're Faber and Castell Polychromos. I don't normally use coloured pencils with my paintings, but with these cakes I thought it had add a bit of texture. Um, the gouache I used on the cream in this chocolate eclair is a Winsor & Newton designer's gouache. I'll leave details of everything I used in the description below if anyone's interested. Once I started painting the cream in this eclair, it just went so wrong that it did turn out well in the end though. Um, I think it was mainly because I'd sketched in lines with the watercolour originally when I'd done the, the outline of the whole cake and I just couldn't get the colours right for the shadows in the cream because some of the shadows were blue and the lines that I'd already put in were like a creamy yellow colour. So at about the 4 minute 30 mark in this video, I thought the only way to save it was to go over it in gouache to try to fix it and then I used white acrylic paint to paint the highlights on the cream at the end. Um, it isn't white acrylic paint, it's Dale Rowney white acrylic ink it's called. I'll leave the details for that as well um, with the rest of the um, supplies that I've used. So I've decided that this year I'm going to be using more mixed media in my illustrations. I think it's time to start experimenting more. I usually just stick to watercolour because that's what I'm comfortable with but really I want to see what else I can achieve with different mediums. Last year I started using acrylic paint for the first time and I really enjoyed it. I'd been watching a programme, a series on, uh, on the Sky Arts channel called Landscape Artist of the Year and they also do a um, a portrait artist of the year and it's on every week and in the end someone wins it but a lot of the artists in that program were using acrylic paint and it just really inspired me to have a go it looked like it'd be interesting to use and I'd get different effects that I usually get from my watercolours so I really wanted to give that a go so I bought quite a few tubes of acrylic paint and I'd done um, a series of mocktails in mason jars I also tried out a couple of landscapes and I did a puffin and I was really pleased with them, with how they all turned out. So I could really do with doing some more of those as well this year. I also bought quite a few tubes of gouache last year and I made up a palette but I've barely used it and I just have that fear of failing that's putting me off using them. I'm going to have to just start experimenting with them more this year and um, start practicing using them. After using it on the cream in this eclair, it has given me a bit more encouragement and confidence to try it out more. So I've recently been doing some London shopfront illustrations, which you'll have seen if you follow me on Instagram. The first one I did was the Biscuitier's shop in Notting Hill. I didn't record that one, but then I've done the Chipping Forecast chip shop, and that's also in Notting Hill, and I decided to try that one in gouache to see how it would turn out, and it turned out better than I expected. 
And I also made a video of that to add to YouTube this week. So stay tuned for the next video and I'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.